Okay, this story is pretty awful. A young Russian woman fell asleep in her garden and woke up to a terrible pain in her stomach. She decided to go to the hospital and guess what they found? A four foot snake. The snake must have slithered in her mouth when she was asleep. This is no joke. Here is a video for proof. And if you have a sensitive stomach, you might want to skip on this one. <laughs> How do you even have a snake slither into your mouth while you're asleep? Like, that is disgusting. So disgusting. Can you imagine feeling a snake in your body? Are you tired of having your Amazon packages delivered by a person? I'm not, but Amazon is. The FAA recently approved the e-commerce giant's ability to operate its drones for package delivery. Amazon originally announced its Prime Air program back in 2013 and plans on offering commercial deliveries on a trial basis. What do you think about drone delivery? I think it's interesting. I think that it's probably a little scary because it's like, you know, what if you're just walking out to go check your mail and then all of a sudden you just have a drone fly in and like... like Yesterday we reported that United Airlines is ending its change fee policy and we talked about how other airlines would likely follow suit and they did. American and Delta announced they would also eliminate their fees. So what does this mean for their business? Last year, United took in $625 million in change fees and Delta earned $615 million, but the collective loss of over $10 billion due to COVID has all airlines trying to find ways to get customers flying again. What would you do to fly on a plane? I've flown on a plane, so it's like, Not I don't a big know. Deal. I, yeah, I don't really have any problems with it. I've flown on American, which I know other airlines are a little bit better about like keeping your distance. They'll have the middle seat, but American, they're just like, well, we're going to throw you in there and put you in there just like everything's normal. So that's a little, I don't know, why are you doing it that way? Like you couldn't at least switch it around a little bit. Has the pandemic made us socially awkward? It's been common for parents to worry about their children's social development since we've all been stuck at home. But what about the parents and the rest of us? Psychologists and neuroscientists say lack of human interaction is similar to feeling hungry like we are missing out on a balanced diet. We go into survival mode, which could lead to symptoms such as irritability and sluggishness. Have you noticed yourself experiencing these symptoms, Tanner? I don't know, you tell me. I, I mean, I know when, I, when I'm around you, I'm like, Kelsey's getting a little awkward. Little no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, I mean, luckily, part of our job is talking to each other. That so is, at least yeah. we have that. We're actually working on having conversations. So I guess we are really like... Flexing that muscle, right? We're we are like... flexing the muscle, yeah. And what a perfect timing to be focusing on conversations. Tesla stock just surged sky high, reaching share offerings up to $5 billion. That's a lot of money. The electric car maker also just completed a stock split, which makes share is more affordable for retail investors. Earnings from the sale will contribute to Tesla's Gigafactory that is currently in construction in Austin, Texas. So what the heck is a stock split? Well, Kelsey's gonna tell you. Tanner, tell me please. All right, all right. Open up your notebooks and take notes. Okay, got it. Basically, when a stock is super expensive, it's really hard for retail investors to buy it because I think before like I was searching and Tesla stock was like around $1,800. So in order for you to buy one share, you have to spend $1,800. Well, a stock split kind of basically just splits that $1,800 five ways. And I can't do that math in my head. But five ways, that's not even an even number though. Well, five for one. Some people do, some companies do two for one, three for one, stuff like that. Mm. Tesla, I'm not sure what the um, strategy is behind doing a five for one stock split, but it, I, since the price is so high, you divide it by five, it's still, I think the price is still around like almost $500 for one Tesla stock after the stock split. So it still is expensive, but it allows people to that don't have as much money to invest just to get one stock, uh, they can now get that. When I'm looking for a place to stay, Airbnb is always a go-to, but here are five other places you can look for for lodging. First is Glamping Hub. Glamping at its finest. You can book a tree house here. Next is Hip Camp, which offers you to camp on someone's land. Third is Outdoorsy, where you can rent RVs. There's also one fine stay if you're looking for a fancy stay. This is the place. Last but not least, there is Flip Key, which has been referred to Bing, while Airbnb is Google. So, have you used any of these five lodging services? Yeah, I've used Hip Camp before. Okay, so tell, tell. It, it was cool because, you know, we just wanted Actually, I didn't use it. I should take that back. I ended up going to State Park, but I did book something. And the, the reason I left is because it, you know, got rained on. It was raining that weekend. I was like, oh, we're gonna go somewhere else. But 
it was cool because you know to go camping like a tent and all that stuff and i mean you might spend a couple hundred dollars easily well with hip camp they this person had a spot on their land that already had a tent you would just have to bring your whatever your sleeping bag and if you wanted an air mattress and stuff you would have to bring that but it was like 40 bucks for to stay for one night make sure to tune in tomorrow for the top news stories my name is tanner and i'm kelsey cosmala and we will see you next time bye, -bye. bye.